I think we're live. Oh, yeah, here comes everybody. So everybody's coming in here and then we will get everything all set up. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the MLSP Wednesday night webinar. My name is Diane Hockman, and I am going to be hosting tonight's webinar. We're going to give Brian a night off, although I think he's still lurking around somewhere because he always is. Does the guy ever take a break? Um, for all of you guys that are just jumping on, I want to welcome you. We're going to dig right in. We're just trying to pull over a couple of other people here. Um, and because uh, uh, we have a incredibly good show for you. Um, Okay, JP, what I want you to do is just look and see if you see Angela Brooks in the attendees. Uh, because somehow it looks like Zoom has changed on me. So why should that be any different? Let's see, participants. Brian says he's definitely working with Go Rockstars. <laughs> Yolanda. So anyway, guys, give us a shout out in the chat and uh, I'm gonna introduce the panel. We're gonna give you some information and then we are going to dig in because I have questions for these ladies. Okay, I don't know how to uh, get her over there. I don't see her. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Say hi, jump up and down. Hoop and holler, get the crowd going, do the wave. <laughs> I just do the wave, yeah. yeah. I don't even know. Look, why you said the wave, and all I want to do is this. This ain't the wave. Well, that's okay, but I can't do that because I'm, you know, I can't. I don't. I don't know. Maybe y'all got that, but I don't. I don't that's have not the wave. Thing. I don't know. We'll Whatever. work do on that. Work, we'll work on that wave, for you, do Diane. The, do the Gucci <laughs> Gucci. There we got Angela. We'll work, yeah. we'll work on it. Okay, Yolanda, we'll, we'll I can hear my voice. Come back through the original link uh, that D gave you, or just get over here. We're looking for Yolanda Kennerly. We'll get her on. I'm so excited. So again, my name is Diane Hockman. I've been here with My Lead System Pro. Can you guys believe that in September it's been 10 years? Isn't that like wildly uh, hard to believe? Um, but it's been almost 10 years. MLSP has been here for 13 years, rock solid. And um, tonight we're going to do something a, a little interesting, a little different. Um, our fearless leader, Mr. Finale, asked me if I wanted to do the webinar, and I said, I sure do, and I know some people that I want to bring out on this webinar. Um, but what I want to do is teach you guys about something. So before we, before I teach you something, and then we get into asking the panelists the questions, and again, we're still trying to get Yolanda Kennerly out here. Yolanda, if you hear my voice, come back through the link D gave you, and we'll just call you Double D. So, ah. Know, I'm on a roll this week, right, Angela? <laughs> um, and um, or because uh, I don't know how to pull you over, so or JP Yolanda Kennerly, we're looking for if you can pull her over. I don't have I don't, uh, her name. I don't have the ability to find her, um, and I don't want to lose too many minutes because we have so much good stuff to talk about tonight. So let's see. Yeah, I don't know how to do this, um, which is typical. You know, I've been here for 10 years and, um, you know, I, I, I've earned quite a bit of money here. It's been quite a good run. And um, the thing that's funny is I don't know how to do half the stuff. Um, and I think if I work up this year and I work really hard before the end of 2021, I can learn to not do 75% of the stuff. There she is. Now I feel better. Uh, and, uh, and then I'll probably be making a gazillion dollars. So I have with me, I have Coach D is in the house. Everybody, let's hear it for Coach D. Woo! Dina Solomon's in the house. Sabira, my dear friend. Sabira, how long have I known you? At least 10 years. Uh, yeah, right about 10 years. Right, right. So Sabira Falami's here. We have Double D over there, Yolanda Kennerly. And then also we have Angela Books down in Kentucky. And all of these ladies have something very interesting in common. And then they have a lot of things that they don't have in common at all. And that's what I'm excited about delving into because they're all uh, L4 leaders, level four leaders, leadership, whatever you want to call it here at My Lead System Pro. 
Now, just so we get really clear, because I know we have a lot of new folks visiting, uh, new members, trial members. We have some people, maybe you're a guest, you were invited by one of these lovely ladies or one of our members. Um, My Lead System Pro is a marketing education and software system. They're based in Austin, Texas, and they provide tools and training for home business owners. So affiliate marketers, network marketers, um, I mean, Sabira works, she'll tell you in a second, but with authors, anybody that works from home that needs to learn about how to communicate on social media, how to generate leads, how to build uh, websites, how to um, use email marketing, uh, how to create your own products and actually charge for them and all that other good stuff or courses or membership sites. We have everything from baby beginner all the way up to kind of like super stealth, fancy dancy ninja marketers. I hate that term. I just said it. It came out of my mouth. Whatever. Really good marketers. Okay. We have everything. But most importantly, we have everything you need to develop you from beginner to very advanced. And what's interesting, a lot of times people come to us and they're good marketers. They're just not good online marketers. So they need to learn those skills. Or sometimes we have people that are brand new in the industry. So we have a real mix here and you're gonna see that in a a minute. But before I go to the panel and start asking them the questions, I hope you guys are ready because I'm gonna I'm gonna grill you, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip you over, I'm gonna baste you, and we're gonna heat you up some more and see what we can get out of you. I'm looking, especially D. I want all her secrets. She's got secrets over there. She got she's got secrets. I know she does. I watched her. So, um, and by the way, this is me. This is my selfish webinar. I wanted to ask all the questions and if you guys benefit from it, awesome. But I wanted to know what everybody's doing. <laughs> so so uh, I'm the old dog. I need new tricks. <laughs> I want to see what you guys are up to. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen for a minute because I do. I know there's a lot of members. Have you guys seen this with some of your members? They're like, what does that L thing mean? What does L1 mean or L2 or what does that even mean? And how does that work? So yeah. I'm going to share my screen for a second. And you guys will tell me, can we see my screen right now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Angela, do me a favor. I think you're muted. Are you muted? I'm unmuted now. Because I like it better when you're not. I like it better when you're not. All Sometimes of I'm noisy. If you guys have background, <laughs> well, you got kids running around and, and animals and all kinds of stuff. Um, okay. Let's go over here. And I happen to be in the back office. By the way, for those of you that are not familiar, this is our beloved Baxter Badger. And Baxter Badger is our affiliate manager. So we are a company that teaches and trains and helps marketers, but we do also have the option to become an affiliate if you care to. Um, You don't have to, you don't have to promote MLSP in any way, shape or form. You can just use our tools and we have tons of people that do that. But we also have a lot of people that like, let's face it, if you're entrepreneurial, you tend to like to make money, (laughs) right? I mean, any of you guys like that, you know, if you're entrepreneurial, another revenue stream is always good. Um, And then also I'm going to show you tonight why uh, being an affiliate with MLSP might be valuable to you for other reasons, because what we have is we have um, leadership levels, okay? Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. You guys don't need to see all the numbers, but, um, when you refer folks, and again, we have tons of people that haven't referred a soul. You don't need to refer a soul. You don't have to mention MLSP. If you're happy with your MLM and you just want to build websites and, and do stuff for that, that's awesome. If you're happy with whatever else you're doing, uh, I know Sabira, you know, even though she is a huge leader here is kind of low key about it. So the rest of you guys can, you'll explain in a few minutes how you use MLSP. But this company has spawned some of the biggest leaders that have ever yeah. been in this space. Um, they started here, they got their foundation here, they learned here. And when we have, um, different levels of membership. And again, I said, we have membership for beginners all the way up to very advanced. So there's different levels and there's different price points. It's not complicated. It just seems that when you first hear about it 
And so basic memberships, which are for newer people that are just learning the basics and fundamentals, their membership is worth one point. If you're a professional person on a professional level, their membership is worth three points. And that we add on a, a page builder and some other tools. And then the premium level, that would be the more serious marketer that wants more tools, more access to extended tools, more coaching, live support, et cetera. Their membership is worth five points if you refer them. So to become a level one leader, which is the gateway to leadership and being included and, you know, and, and being recognized here, um, not that we don't recognize everybody, because you guys know this is like community central. We love everybody. Um, but you need to have 10 points. So that could be 10 people or it could be two people, depending on what membership you referred. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, level two, and, and this shows you, as you move up, you make more money, honey, but you also start to get recognition. I'll explain to you in a minute why that recognition is so powerful. Level two, you have 25 points and you got to have so many are active, you know, because you can't like have people join. Like I've been here 10 years. I have people that joined a long time ago. They're not here today. They don't, you know, you don't count that. Um, so you got to have 25 points, which again can be as, as little as five people, you know, and as many as 25 people. And we'll go up the line and you guys can look at this because in the back office, and I'm going to show you if you're not a member right now, I'm going to show you something special in a little bit. You guys can, all you have to do is go right up here. Okay, and it explains this, okay? So if you go down here and you get to this level, level five, okay? This is the honey badger level. This is the level where we make a big freaking deal over you, okay? If you are a honey badger, you have opportunity to get, you know, larger commissions, a lot larger commissions. You get recognition. You have a chance to be on the leadership board. And we have some things here. We, have, we changed the names of recently, but we haven't changed all the names on the website. Um, you get opportunities to be part of our training team. You get a lot of exposure. Like, for example, tonight, my name was emailed out to probably, I don't know what the numbers are these days, a quarter million people. That's not a bad deal, right? So when you become a honey badger, you have the opportunity to serve and you get in front of a lot of people and you get a lot of exposure and you get a lot of opportunity to practice your skills, get up and speak, get groomed, get access to corporate team. And everybody wants it. Everybody wants to be a rock star, or at least I did. These folks right here are leadership level four. They're little diamonds. They're beautiful little diamonds. And the whole premise behind this was to dig in and find out how did you guys get to level four? Because it's a big deal. Not that many people, by the way, I'm a level seven, okay? No, it, only two people have ever in, in 13 years made level seven. I don't know how many, I think only like three or four have made level six. Uh, we've had a good uh, two dozen, probably maybe 30 L5s, okay? And then L4s and so on and so forth. Lots of L1s. So it's, it's not easy. And Dina was saying this the other day. She goes, it's not easy to get to L5. But I know that one of you is going to be the next honey badger unless one of these sneaky pizza that is watching tonight goes, aha, I understand the system now and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to surpass everybody. And that's what I always say. It took me a long time to go past the juggernaut that came before me. And sooner or later, it could be one of you that's just going to zoom up and come right up past me. So now that we understand the leadership system, I want to talk about the next generation of honey badgers and talk to the next generation of honey badgers because these guys are the guys that are kind of, we don't always hear their names, but if you look at the leaderboards, you're going to see some of those people are hovering right up there. They're really kind of, they're really kind of pretty high up there. So, um, you know, a couple people are, you know, have been up there and then they're down because we all have different business entities and different business things. So what happens is we're focused on this and then we come back over here or, or we're working on something and then we bring it back around. So um, that's how the leadership levels work. And guys, I'll show you later. The biggest names in the industry have, 
have become honey badgers here. And I would say, uh, if you become member of the month, then your chances of going are very high. And if you become a honey badger, there ain't no turning back. Mm -hmm. Now, all of you guys have very successful businesses. In addition to my lead system pro right now, we're going to talk about that. Um, all of you are, you know, sought after speakers and coaches and all the different things that you guys do. Um, but I also know that we need you here because it's time for the next set of voices. Aren't you tired of of the same voices. Isn't it time for a whole bunch of you, this crowd and the crowd right behind you to rise up and take those positions? So anyway, with that short example, I wanna get into, are you guys ready to answer some questions? Sure. Yes. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go round robin um, and I have several questions. So we're gonna try to get as many in as we can. And then at the end, I have a surprise for everybody. Um, if you're all very good, <laughs> Such a mom. if you're all very good, especially those of you that are guests tonight, I think you'll really love the surprise. And, um, I am, because I'm kind of working right now, I'm not seeing all of the chat. I know some of our leaders are in there. Um, mm -hmm. I know that Baxter's floating around. So at the end, I will take a look. If you guys have questions, I'm not ignoring you at the moment. I just want to get down and dirty with these girls. So. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I just want to establish what do you guys do. So do you tell me about your what, what's your business? What do you do? All right. Actually, I just recently rebranded, but basically I help entrepreneurs be able to be, bootstrap their way to wealth. All that means in a general sense is um, understanding how you can leverage knowledge first and foremost to get everything else. Even if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth, taking from the bottom, theoretically. I like that because it's it's about the energy and the desire more than the money in your wallet. And I was right. one of the come. You got the knowledge, people, you know, they miss the knowledge. You got the knowledge, you can get the rest. And I'm living proof that that's exactly what I did. I love it. I love it. I, I knew your background before you got into the industry was what? Um, automotive. Yes, I knew it was automotive. Okay, so awesome. Uh, Ms. Dina, tell us about your business. And I know you have a kind of a business in the brick and mortar world and then also over here in the in uh, online world. Thank you for having us, first of all. I wanted to thank you because I don't think that you give yourself enough credit. You picked some awesome women here and thank you for having us. But I've been in traditional business. I own a preschool. I actually opened it in 2009. So I've been doing that since uh, that recession. And I have 45 staff that I manage full time. And then I got into network marketing in 2016, simply by trying product. So I lead an organization doing that. I've uh, been mentoring all these years as well, but I, I love to focus on the empath side of entrepreneurship. I love, I lead with my heart in everything I do. Um, mm -hmm. The dollar, uh, titles, ranks, stuff like that. I love because it motivates me to always climb and do better for myself. But I, I just love people and I'm known for that. I just love community and I love taking the person who's just about to quit and say, give me another chance. Let me, let me just get in there and see what went wrong and, and give entrepreneurship another chance. That's awesome. And, and the other questions that I asked, you'll have lots of chances to expand on some of the, the things that you're so passionate about. Um, so I love that leading with heart. Uh, Sabira, who has been a dear friend of mine for many, many, many moons. And I'm just <laughs> So always excited when she gets to come out and hang out with me. Sabira, tell us about your business. First of all, I love you. I love you. Uh, and so I um, support spiritual entrepreneurs in writing their first book and uh, then learning how to actually market the book. Because a lot of them hard part, right? they don't know how to market it. Okay, excellent. Miss Angela Brooks down in Kentucky. Tell us about you. Hello, sweet lady. I am a content creator, blogger, network marketer, um, LinkedIn strategy. I love LinkedIn. Yes, it's so you crazy. are a LinkedIn queen. <laughs> but uh, network marketing found me on night shift when I was working on a midnight shift at a psychiatric hospital. So it can find you anywhere. <laughs> And um, this is kind of like the same environment, isn't it? Bunch of kooky people. So I love it. Good, right? <laughs> that kind of folks. <laughs> and Yolanda, I know you're working on a special project right now. Tell us about your business. 
Uh, well, I started my business as a network marketer and it really network marketing found me. But what I fell in love with was really helping women that were in transition. What do I mean by that? Women that were actually leaving the, you know, the business realm out, you know, off of offline into online, which was me. That's exactly what I was doing. So I was in transition. And those are the women that I love to help to really grow a thriving business. What I mean by that is something that they love to show up to, but also doing it through live video, because I recognize really, really early in my, you know, taking my little steps in online marketing, that live video was the fastest way to grow my business. And so currently I'm helping a group of women to put all of the pieces together to grow their business and really love showing up to do the work necessary to continue to help other women. Awesome. What so, is the name of the project that you have? You mentioned to me earlier. The workshop is called, it's a 30 day tribe builders workshop, which means right. we put all of the pieces together. It's not necessarily a challenge, but it's really getting down and doing the work. Okay, great. So, and I'll give you guys all a, an opportunity. I know Sabira has a program and stuff like that. Um, we're not really self-promoting, so to speak, but it's it, people like to know what people in the community do and what they have, um, et cetera. So I'm going to go to the next question. Um, and I think this is really important because we can see that you're all, um, and I didn't get into geography with you all, you're all over the place. You're not all in one area. Um, you all come from different um, backgrounds. Um, I'm guessing you have different academic backgrounds. You have different um, social backgrounds, all this other stuff like D, you know, talking about bootstrapping. I love that. So everybody comes from something a little different. I know we have two people that have been through health challenges, maybe more, but I know of two in particular. Um, so we have a wide spectrum of folks. But now the next question is, and I'll start down, uh, I'll go back to Yolanda. What brought you to MLSP or My Lead System Pro? Oh my gosh, I was failing horribly offline. I mean, it, I was like suffering. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was suffering. <laughs> five years. Yes, five years of my life doing it. The belly to belly, you know, uh, event to event. And yes, I did build a team. And yes, I was, you know, making a little bit of income. But I really didn't see the big picture doing it that way. So one day, I just prayed, honestly. I was just like, Lord, if this is not for me, take the desire away. But if it is for me, show me the way. And I'm not kidding you. The next day, I had a lady on a live video telling me that she can teach me how to grow my business online. <laughs> and I came through a 10-day, it was a live video challenge that she did. This is like four <laughs> years ago or something like that. Yep. And I was hooked. <laughs> okay. So that's how it happened for me. It was really an answer to my prayer. I really believe awesome. it from the bottom of my heart. Awesome. And again, with the questions, you guys are going to see the way I've rigged the questions. You're going to have more opportunity to go in the direction you want um, because I want to hear all of your stories. And then what's really nice is the community is going to get to know you a lot more. And um, I'd love to see, you know, if we can twist some arms and get you guys out and uh, helping people more because you're all so talented. Angela, how did you get here? I was attempting to build a training center for my team. That's a lot of work, folks. Oh my gosh, trying to build everything that MLSP has in a training situation. You're constantly updating, doing all the training yourself. You're trying to make all the parts move together smoothly. And when somebody told me about MLSP, I'm like, let me see this thing. And that made no sense for me to build my own. Like, zero and so I started showing this to my business team I'm like those that are you know want to build online I'm not duplicatable I know that but if I could get them into a system that they can learn every week little nuggets here and there why would I want to build that from scratch bingo bingo <laughs> I was like that as well I didn't I'm not very technical and I just couldn't manage teaching all this. So I knew how to do yeah. some stuff, but I didn't know how to teach it. And plugging into all the expertise here made so much sense. So, yes. and now we have the business center where you literally can build a training center, like, and you don't yeah. have to really know a lot to do it, which is really cool. Uh, Sabira, yeah. how did you get here? I know, but tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I was referred, believe it or not, a, a buddy of mine was like, there's this lady, Diane, you got to meet her <laughs> 10 years ago. And um, so, 
I connected with you, which connected me to MLSP. But the interesting thing was I got sick. And what you taught me in that very short amount of time in terms of residuals sustained me during breast cancer treatment. Sustained me literally for 10 years now. Like the money wasn't always there, but I, the knowledge. Uh, so that's, that's how I got here. Yeah. And, and you, you had different episodes, you know, and now you've moved into working with authors and you found that our, our business tools make sense for those folks because they're oh, reasonable yeah. and, and accessible, et cetera. So um, I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you found the thing. Yes, this gift, I writing that book, and she has an incredible book and her story. Um, it's really cool. So, Dina, how did you come to us? I don't even know. How did you come to us? Um, you know, I actually, when I started network marketing in 2016, ran into MLSP, I think, via you on social media somehow. Uh, but I couldn't grasp transitioning from the, tran the traditional business mindset to learning all of network marketing and live videos and everything that uplines were teaching me. And so I couldn't take on anymore. Like I was just trying to like build and build and build. And then about last October is when I joined our MLSP, I was always on their email list all the time. And I was getting the email list. And I finally said, you know what, like, you know, you need to reinvent yourself. And it was, I was, I was re-mentoring a group of people and I was like, Hey, anybody want to learn something new with me? Like, I want to take this to a different level. And I've always been the person that's wanted to uh, merge traditional business uh, concepts of what I've done for 15 years and in, in that business and bring it into network marketing. And I think that's where the gap was for me. Um, Cause I was trying to be like everybody else in network marketing. And then I was like, wait a minute, I'm changing myself. Like, have all this experience from the real world and then when I started watching you more closely Diane that's when it really clicked that I was I found a home that I didn't have to keep shuffling teammates to this trainer this trainer this trainer it was a one-stop shop to any network marketer home business owner entrepreneur traditional business it just was like you know so that's why I, I also think you're a natural teacher and it just it was a fit for you you know, you're just a natural teacher. And we'll and come back to that. Being on, a, on a webinar that planted me, because I came in on a dollar trial um, and he said something to me, or he said something on, I asked a question, because you know me and my question. I asked a question, he said, yeah, Dina, like he didn't know me. And he said, if you plant your flag here, you'll get to, you'll get that answer. And so since then, I've, I've, his words have really rung and I've tried to translate that down into the, my study group. Awesome. Yeah, about five years. And we'll we'll come back because we're gonna ask you about what you're doing with your teams and stuff like that. So don't worry. We have plenty of questions and plenty of opportunities to share. Dee, how'd you get here? How did you for me it was just a matter of um I needed to solve a problem. All right. I was making some money, um, but I wasn't building an email list, I wasn't getting fast enough leads. I was on YouTube, they're slow leads, but they're good. But anyway, so I actually went searching for a way to you know get more leads. Um, so I wound up seeing an ad, saw someone's name on the ad that I recognized, hit them up, you know, and what, what it boiled down to, all I cared about was how was I going to get leads, right? I didn't even care about the training. I was talking about the lead magnets because I knew they were powerful. I was looking at two decisions. You either buy some lead magnets that's already done or you make some. Now, could I make some? Yes. I'm a very good teacher and I love video, right? But I said, yo, I got one in like two years. I made one. Like, that's a lot of work. So then when Didi showed me, I said, Didi, look, I said, I'm thinking about getting this program. Um, and she was like, oh, let me check it out or whatever. So she hadn't signed up yet. Come back around. She's like, oh, yeah, like two days later. Like, oh, yeah, I signed up. Oh, well, well, look, since I ain't signed up yet, how many lead magnets they got? That's all I cared about. How many lead magnets they got? Uh, she was By like, the oh, way, oh. for the record, for everybody, the answer is a lot. A lot, right? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yo, show me on the Zoom. Got on the Zoom. I said, okay, they got 10, 12, da, 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 sign me up. That was it, done, done. It solved the problem, that was it. I got in at the basic, because at the time, I swear I did not know everything they had, but to her defense, I didn't let her show me. I only cared about one thing, but that one thing led to where I am now. I wasn't even trying to promote MLSP. I wanted to solve my one problem, and it solved it over and over. I just need to get leads. 
Now, this is something interesting because different people came for different, like Dina wanted that home in that community. Yolanda was transitioning and looking for a place to learn. D just, D was like, I can, I can almost imagine you because I meet a lot of people like you and it's like, you're trying to explain to them the big picture. We were just talking about the big picture before and they're, they can only see this part of the picture and they just want to know about this part of the picture. So, so to see your growth. And I remember I spotted you early on. I watched you. I always see who's coming in the door. I was like that one right there. That one's got it going on. I remember the day and I was like messaging you. And I, by the way, I message everybody that looks like they have potential because I want to pay it forward. And then sometimes people are like, what'd you want? You didn't, you were cool. But sometimes people are like, what do you want? Like they think I'm gonna pitch them, you know? Cause I'm like, hey man, what's going on? I see you rocking and rolling. So by the way, uh, for all of you that are um, asking questions and stuff, we will get into the questions in a little bit. I'm gonna keep going with the questions with these, but I am noticing and I'm not looking at the chat, but I'm seeing some of them pop up. You guys are beloved <laughs> by people. Everybody's like, oh, they're so happy to see their people and the people that they just adore that they don't always get to see. So. Um, I'm so happy tonight. So let's see. Um, okay. I'm going to start with Dina this time. Dina, attraction marketing. We really focus here on teaching people about um, good communication. And over time, we're looking to teach people to attract people to them. What about attraction marketing? Did, were you looking for attraction marketing? Did you know about it? Were, what do you love about it? What are your thoughts on attraction marketing and why it's important for people to learn? I loved anything that was opposite of salesy spammy. So I was willing to learn. Out of the night, right there. I was, I mean, I was willing to learn any technique that coincided with what I did in the real world. And that's attraction marketing. And as I got to hear more of the leaders in MLSP and one of your trainings about the storefront, and attracting people to us, I was like, that's what I do in the real world. And so over time- You mean at the daycare center, you don't run out into the street and accost people with children and go, you know, your kid looks like it needs a good daycare center. You don't do that. You don't like walk around the mall and find every mother with a stroller, hit her up in the parking lot, try to like jack her over to your, you know, to your daycare center. Listen, we have a van waiting for you. We're just gonna take you over. You can tour the set. You don't do that. You know? And the thing is, is that in the online space of network marketing, because that's where I started with social media was it was hot, you know, to attract people to us and then they labeled it. But in the real world, that's what businesses do is we attract people to our storefront. Yeah. And so I need to get to know what attraction marketing was. I'll do anything that's opposite of cold message and a sponsor or an upline telling me to reach out to 15 people a day. I, I couldn't do it any. What about putting your putting your product all over your header and all over every other post, every third post? I didn't want to be branded to my company. And yeah. until this day, it's been four years in and people still ask me, what do we, what do you do? Like they don't know what network marketing company I'm with. They don't know what I, I mean, unless I do a live video because I built my whole presence with live video like Yolanda loves to promote. I, I love live video. And so I just... Yeah, I didn't my really thing, but I love attraction marketing because I get to brand myself in not the stinking products. I, there you go. That's that's the answer I'm looking for. Sabira, what do you like about attraction marketing, especially as you're working with authors? Um, they need to get the word out about their books. You don't just write a book and the, you know the readers appear, as we know. Although we we tend to fantasize that's going to happen. What do you love about attraction marketing or what do you dislike? I mean, I don't mean to load your lips, but. No, no, it, it's true. It's, it's a, it's a, what do I love? Um, when you start to understand your market, who, you know, who it is you are working with. And I got really clear that, you know, working with spiritual entrepreneurs, if you come at them with anything salesy, pitchy, they're going to run the other way. Right. We tend to be, as Dina was said, very empathetic people. And so relationship was the most important thing, relationship and communication. And that's what attraction marketing really is. It's like, let's just talk like normal, regular people, normal, regular let's, people. Let's just talk. Hey, let's meet over coffee with Zoom. But Dean, I mean, but Sabira, you seem like a like-minded individual. You're probably, you look very sharp. Oh. You probably always keep your options open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just does not work. It just doesn't work. So, 
you know, as a, as an author, it's about having that, um, the authority to just stand. You give that example, being the lighthouse, just stand and speak your word. That's what their book is. So you don't have to go running around and buy my book and buy, no, just stand, speak your, what's in your book and your readers will come to you. And so attraction marketing, you know, I'm, I'm able to show authors how to use attraction marketing, leverage attraction marketing to get their book out there. And I think that that's incredibly beautiful because when somebody has the gumption to express themselves and put it in words, in writing and bind it, um, that's such a big thing. And then it's disheartening if their word doesn't get out. They got it out of their body. Now they have to get it out in circulation. So yeah, for sure. Yolanda, what do you love about attraction marketing? What turns you on about it? I love everything about attraction marketing. Everything. Like, I did not know that I was supposed to be the person they were chasing. You know, I remember I used to chase everybody around, <laughs> like literally three, three foot rule, right? I mean, I was doing everything that I thought I needed to do to grow my business. And it really, you know, it was more frustrating than anything. When I learned about attraction marketing, which I never, by the way, ever, um, I was like, this is the best concept in the whole white world where you actually just give what you know right you just give what you are learning that's what I did what I was learning I was giving it away and that's what made people be more attracted to me because I was kind of like an I was an asset for them and to me that was the the best thing because I'm a giver by nature Mm -hmm. and so me being giving sometimes you know it, it would shock me when they would say hey what is it that you do they would literally come around and ask me. And I'm like, oh, what do I say? Like, that's when I was learning how to have those conversations and things like that. But attraction marketing to me is a game changer for any business, any business, in my opinion, because I was a mortgage broker before. And I was like, man, if I was still a mortgage broker, I would apply attraction marketing to my business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Angela, I know that you like to run around the mall and schmooze people because you're, you're just like that. (laughs) Angela has been very, very, very brilliant. Let me just talk you up for a second. Very brilliant. She, she is really truly an attraction marketer extraordinaire because she, she does it through different venues. Um, She, she does it in all different ways. So what, when did you discover, how were you in network marketing first? I think you were, right? You were successful in network marketing because she has a great organization. Yeah. And I didn't know that it was called attraction marketing. Um, I was just being oh, common me. sense. It's called common sense. <laughs> yeah. And I was just basically taking people on the journey with me and just sharing what I was doing throughout the day, take tons of pictures and posting pictures. And so when the stories and things popped up, that was just right down my alley where you can really take people on the journey. But if we go on a trip, if we were at a soccer game, baseball, whatever, then I shared that to my audience and I had moms that were going me too factor. And so if I could get them to say me too, then I knew they could relate to me. And then they were like, well, do you not work? Well, not anymore. And they're like, Oh, I wish I could do that. And I'm like, well, actually you can, if you want to. So yeah, I, I just, just, I just people on the name, journey. I just got a name for a course you and I should do. And I'm not going to say it out loud because somebody will swipe it, but I will message you later. It's a good name for a course. You and I put together a course. I'm I'm into this. D, attraction marketing, go. All right. The thing I like about attraction marketing is like, I think Yolanda said, um, I became the hunted versus the hunter. It's like, makes everything so easy for me. That means I can be myself authentic, right? Because if a person doesn't like what I'm putting down, then they're not going to come. I'm not going to worry about chasing them. It's cool. Gucci. Number two, I actually can leverage my time. Because to me, attraction market is I'm putting out little worms, little bait, right? I'm putting out these little baits, doing my thing, right? Then the fish come and they eating, you know, they nibbling at the bait. But meanwhile, instead of me going one by one chasing people, and then you're tired by the end of the day, I just put out some bait. I'm chilling. They gonna come in. I see them opt in to the page. Then they come to the um, inbox. But it's all because I attracted them via the attraction marketing. And I too didn't know that that was the name for it at first. But it's like just it's just like the easiest thing ever, the simplest thing ever. Nothing else makes sense to me. Okay, that's the next quote of the day. The easiest oh. thing ever because you really 
is when you learn this concept and you hang around the community and you really, when, when you really synthesize this, because a lot of people, what happens is they go, oh, I get it. And then they go back the next day to start chasing again. When you get it, it's just bait and hooks and throwing all the, it's like you can have like 27 fish hooks. Yes. You just sit there and wait till one of them wiggles. And in the meantime, you're sipping, you know, you're sipping some iced tea or whatever y'all like, some, some Slurpees, <laughs> whatever you're into. You just sit there and wait and you literally can watch the fish. You can watch them and they jump around and they go yeah. this site and that site and they're on your Facebook wall and they're all over the place and you know they want to eat your bait. You know they do. And then all you got to do is go, hey. And they're like, I love you. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. And you have some really distinctive, really cool marketing. You've done some really cool graphics over the years. So some really cool stuff. So, all right. You guys ready for more? Ready. Yeah. Ready. Audience, are you ready for more? I, I miss, I miss live. I miss, I want everybody to roar. Can you guys all roar in the chat? I guess you guys do that drop an X. I'm, I'm, I'm not hip. Drop yeah, drop a, oh, the comments are going a crazy. What is Brian saying? Drop an X. Drop, drop an a Q. Yeah, okay, drop an X. I don't know. Okay, I got exercise. I got roars. Okay, we got roars. Yay, we got roars. 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 I love that. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Here comes the meat. Ready? So we're going to start with, I'm going to start with Sabira this time. Okay. Because you do it very interestingly and differently than other people because you work with authors. You're not working with networkers so much or anything else. What are you doing to bring people to MLSP that got you to the L4 level? Ah, so I integrated it into my coaching program. Mm. Everybody, so, now, this is, now we're going to get the say so how to lay the foundation but now we're going to get the good because everybody's uh, going to be different so you have a coaching program yes. for authors that want to publish their first book and market it and you yes. integrated and everybody's like what does that mean you integrated yes. into it what does that mean so that means at the front end of my funnel mm -hmm. first thing that they that they come to in my coaching program is uh, MLSP. When we get into the, yeah. the, the actual coaching piece and the, the, the group setting, um, and they learn that we can write, I can help you write a book, that's not a problem. But if you don't have an audience and have a runway, <laughs> by the time you go to launch your book, there's not even crickets are going to be there. Yeah. So you could have done all of this work for nothing. Plus, you didn't, uh, you had, you don't have any proof of concept. You don't know if anybody even wants to read what you're writing. And by building their audience first on the front end, they get all of that done and they get people to go with them on this book writing journey. And they're already emotionally ready to buy the book by the time yeah. it comes out. So that's I put it in the coaching at the beginning. Audiences or all this, first of all, in our start here training, we explain that like right up front, we explain it. But I I always explain it like, like um, if you were gonna open a, a corner store, you'd pick a neighborhood that you wanna open the store in and you decide what kind of neighborhood and you'd kind of build a relationship with all the people in the neighborhood as you were setting up the store. That's what she's doing. She's having them figure out who's their people and she's having them set up their store and start getting to know all the people so that the day they do the grand opening, they go, ta-da, here's my book. The buyers are already built in. And we do that in. right at the beginning. So this is awesome. So she integrates our tool set and our training with her coaching program. So in addition to her coaching fees, this is an additional revenue stream for her, but it's an additional service for her people. So it's a complete win-win because I remember talking to her about it and I said, they can't buy what we have for the same price point anywhere else. So even if we're geared towards home business owners and network marketers per se, because we do have a lot of, we do cater a lot to that group. Don't worry about that because you can't buy the tools that we have anywhere else at this price point for this value. Mm -hmm. And she went, you're right. And the next thing you know, she was an L4, so. And the other thing real quick, this yep. quote, you're good. You're good. is um, somebody mentioned about, um, oh gosh, it just escaped me. Oh, that I didn't have to create everything. Yep. Yeah. Like I was trying to build all of the, oh my gosh. And to be able to say, look guys, it's already built. You can go do this, that, if you want to, if you want to go play with that, go ahead. You'll be back. 
exhausting. So just get it right up front. <laughs> it's already up, built. So yeah. And then and then just go write your book. So that was the other piece to it. I love that. I love that. All right, Yolanda, what are you? What what, what got you to L four? What did you do to introduce people to My Lead System Pro to have enough points to hit the L four level? I did two types of strategies. The first one and the most simplest one when I first started was invite, invite, invite to the Wednesday webinar and allow all of the leaders Good to deal. for me, <laughs> to do all the work. Yes. I would just go up and learn. That was it. That was my one strategy. Once I started, you know, learning a little bit more and kind of getting a little bit more confident, I started doing live video challenges. And within, you know, like five day live video challenge, I would teach them how to do live video because that's what I knew to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then from there, I would offer them MLSP so that they could grow their business with marketing, like really learn marketing so that they could have access to the lead magnets. They can have access to the funnels if that was their thing. And not, but more importantly is the education. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I did for, I'm not kidding you, for two years straight. That's all I did every other week. I would do a challenge. So I yeah. lived for challenges for years. And that was probably one of the simplest strategies because I was not really into techie stuff. I learned some stuff, but I really wanted to do it really simple so that they can duplicate me. And that's so what you happened. were really a pioneer with the challenges long before everybody was doing challenges. You had figured that game out a while ago. So congratulations, that's awesome. Thank Angela, what, what got you to L4 and how did you bring people to uh, My Lead System Pro? I did the same thing. I integrated it as people got into my web uh, their next step was just here. And even my business team, um, when they come to me and say they want to build their network marketing part of our, our company to the next level, I'm like, okay, you've got to have training because you can't do it on yesterday's knowledge. You have to have business knowledge online. And they're like, oh, but I don't want to pay for it. And I'm like, this is the only way you're going to work with me is if you get into this so that you know my language. And, and so they do, and they come in that way and, and they understand, once they get here, they understand why I push them to come in and learn the basics, then the rest of it kind of flows. Exactly. And for some people, they only need the, the bottom level because it's the right yes. for them. And for some people, I watched people that knew none of this and got so turned on before you knew it. Like I'm watching Dina do it right now. Dina was always like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The next thing I know, she's like emailing. She's using all the, she uses the lead magnets and I'm going to shout about her. I'm going to go to her next. Dina uses the tools here more than anybody else. I see kudos to you because somebody put all of this together for you and she uses it every single day. And she's like the only one that I see. Dina, how do you bring people into My Lead System Pro? Because you are one of the fastest growing people that we've seen in, in some time. Um, you know, all, everybody's like, how did she do that so fast? So tell us, tell us all your secrets. Tell us right now so we can steal them and, you know, go out and go nuts tonight. I love people to steal. I, I, I love that because that means everyone's growing together and the community grows. So let's do it. I think that I created a consistent social rhythm. And I had that in me prior to MLSP. And so I just layered MLSP on top of it. Instead of fishing for content from you know, other leaders in the industry and looking and seeing what they were doing, I stopped looking at everybody else and I just used the tools because I'm Say going that. I stopped looking everywhere else and I just used yeah. the tools. And I don't have time tonight to give everybody a tour if you're a guest of what we have, and I'll show you how you can, for a dollar, you can get in there. But Dina is so smart. I called her too. I, ca I called all of you. Well, some yeah. of you guys have gone before me, but you know what I mean. You know, I'm a reverse engineer. I want to get to make a t-shirt that says, I reverse engineer everything. And so I, I used to do classes. And then I started to realize that I loved the strategy part of entrepreneurship and helping entrepreneurs with strategy. And by the time I was done with a, a, a five-day class, seven-day class, 15-day class, 30-day classes, people would love my strategy, but still be stuck with the basics of social media. Yep. And so now I replace mm -hmm. that part in using, like, if you come through like the web, like you guys were just talking about, I always say MLSP first, and then let's talk strategy. So now I just layer the mentoring on top of MLSP, but to get leads, I kind of use, I came in when Stacy Hall, 
had just started Go for Yes or was launching Go for Yes. So that was my first exposure in MLSP. Mm-hmm. And I remember her vividly talking about groups. And I was like, oh, hell, like I don't do groups really well. <laughs> Everything on my feed, I just, I didn't do groups really well. And so I started watching some of her trainings about Go for Yes and, um, and the groups. And I just stuck with two groups. And I'm consistently just posting in there the lead gems and taking the copyright that's done for us and posting in there, not just to get the leads, but We're just in so- Facebook groups. Yes. And okay. I don't really do a lot on IG or TikTok and all that yet. I'm kind of I'm stuck. No, that's good. So your big strategy yeah. is certain Facebook groups and using our tools to gain leads. Yes. But also to gain influence. I think that when you post in certain groups consistently, people get to see you more and then they trust Mm -hmm. that the free value you're putting out is valuable. And so she said another key word, trust. She's so visible and consistent that she's built trust inside of those communities so that when she offers, how many of you guys ever offer something you get crickets, right? Nobody wants it. Dina shows up every day. So the people see her all the time she becomes a known quantity so then actually messaging her is no longer scary and or they're not afraid she's going to do something yucky so that's i think a very very key thing um everybody has different methods and um again i got to ask more questions so i'm going to keep moving but everybody has different methods dina is very heavy on social media in certain groups and on her wall and going live, sharing the tools that we have. And they're very effective, very professional tools. Other people don't wanna post all day or have full-time jobs. Um, And so for them, that method is, that's why I wanted to show everybody's methodologies because they all vary. And sometimes people hear one and they go, I can't do that because I have this business over here. I have these kids or I have this. Other people, because what she does is simple, but it takes commitment commitment and Dina is one of the most committed people I've ever seen um so this is very cool and she has she has and and I know they're all going to scream now all of Dina's people scream make noise in the chat they like follow her everywhere they love her so much so we'll give it a second they'll come through while we go over to Dina that you always mentioned that entourage is what got me and stuck me to MLSP because they were learning with me and study group and Stacy's, uh, Stacy had just talked about study groups at one point. And I was like, oh, I'll just bring my chat into this. Cause I had already had a chat with my classes. I always used to attach a chat to any class that I ran. Mm-hmm. And I know it's a lot of high maintenance stuff. Some people don't like to do that, but I thought it would really bring people around the tribe more. Yeah. It so. just, and, and the reason why I'm contrasting on purpose is because I want everybody to see some people love to teach, want to be in there. Some people want to set up and get like a lead magnet, like Dee said, run the people through, have an automated system. I don't know if, you know, what you got and you'll tell us now, but different people use our tools differently. Yes. And that's what's so cool about them. This is a, th- this woman runs a daycare. She's a community person. She loves community. She thrives on community. Other people that we have are introverts and they don't want to talk to nobody. We have one top leader. I don't know that he ever talks to anybody. I don't think he does. And he's still every week he's on the top. The dude is pumping and pumping and pumping. And pumping. I'd like to get him out and, 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 and get all of his secrets out of him. He's not doing those things. So that's what's beautiful. There is no right. There is no wrong. It's finding your way. And there's somebody, I promise you, when you're part of this community, there's somebody that you're going to relate to. And you're going to go, oh, I like the way Yolanda did her. Oh, Sabira, I like the way she integrated there. Oh, Dina, she's really in the community and she's very involved. Oh, Angela has blogs and LinkedIn and all of these different venues and she's working with her MLM team. So Dina, you tell us, how did you get to L4? What'd you do to bring people around? All right. Um, Well, when I first started, uh, you know, my first milestone was like L3, the first biggest milestone. And I'll tell you what I did to get to L3 because that's when I was pushing hard, mm-hmm. all right? It's, when I tell you, it's like mad simple. It's very similar to, to what Dina was talking about. It's so simple that people overlook it. 
All right, specifically, I chose two groups. Now, this is before the go for yes, right? Um, so I didn't know about go for yes. It hadn't happened yet. This is at the beginning. So anyway, I chose two groups, but not just any two groups. I chose groups that had people in it who had paid for something in that particular, because it was marketing, right? Who had paid for like a money make online program or whatever, right? That's important because they already paid before. You pull out that card once, you're more likely to pull out that card again, right? I don't want people who don't want to pay, period. Then the next thing I did- You're looking for buyers. Hmm? You're looking for buyers, Looking right? for buyers, right? The next thing I did is I would post content in there that was relevant to them. It's all in the same industry, right? Where I got that content from, MLSP, man, like listen to anything they say. And just like, oh yeah, that's good, boom. It's gonna be, it's gonna sound like gold to everybody else. I promise you, anything they put. So I just posted it. I only do it like maybe, I only did like maybe two or three times a week in there. Then the next part is the profile. Just make, I made my profile congruent, meaning I talked about the same type of stuff. Market the same stuff I talk about now. Talked about it. This is what happened. And I can like call it out to the team. People on my team now, I told them, I said, yo, I did I, that strategy. I told you, I did it to you. I did it to you. They're like, mm, you did. They'll come. Off of that, I, you know, I don't put a call to action in those paid groups. You got to respect the rules. I don't say, hit me up if you want to know more. I don't. They come to my profile. Here they come, right? My profile <laughs> set up. They, they see me. Then I drop my call to action. Now they're going all up in the lead magnet. Now they're all in my inbox, right? Next thing you know, they're all up in the MLSP. And I guarantee you, beyond a shadow of doubt, that works. It, it works with a high rate. Of, of closure rate or what have you because I got people at premium right now MSP that I took them through the same process and I called it out to them and say look see I did that I did that I did that I did that to you see that they're like oh man you did it's mad simple that's the easiest thing I could ever tell y'all to do if y'all on Facebook anyway now on YouTube <clears throat> what I did was I did like you guys are saying I used the tool all that means is content put it out there as the audience put it out there then give them offer them the free lead magnet Hey, you want to learn more? Blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's it. That got me to L3 mad quick. That's when I was pushing. Yeah, and I remember watching you cranking up. And, and by the way, guys, I'm going to remind <coughs> you again. Everybody has different parts of their businesses. So the beautiful thing about My Lead System Pro, if you choose to be an affiliate, you want to be an affiliate. And by the way, all these tips work for anything else because you can use that same tip for anything else. You can see use Dina's tips for anything else. All of these tips work for anything you're marketing. But like, for example, there was a time period that I literally was in Arizona working on a huge project and I did nothing here for like a year. Nobody was like, you're not producing, you're not doing this. I mean, I came out, you know, I did my mastermind that I do tomorrow night's my monthly mastermind. Um, and I came out and did a wake up call and stuff. You know, I, I, I upheld my agreement for my leadership role here, but I was busy and that was okay because we support you as entrepreneurs. So as your or marketers or whatever you like to be called, right? So as you, are developing and something, you know, maybe you get to L3 and then something's going on over here. Nobody's going to sit and go, you're not doing nothing, D. You're not doing nothing. See, because no. D's a pro marketer and she's got different things going on. And that's what we do is we celebrate the marketer here. So, so it's just the coolest thing, I think. It's just super I want to say cool. one more thing, just really quick. Okay. I actually like that, that fact that they don't, like bombard you and bug you about, oh, D, what happened, man? You reached L3 in 90 days and now, you know, what's up, what's up? You know, so it was slower me getting to L4, but I did just what you did. I got the concept and I needed to do some things for me, my business, and, and you know, kind of do some other things. But I love the fact that they don't be all on your neck, like, come in, you guys got to reach L5, L6, L7, just trying to, you know, sell their own membership. It's all about you and your growth. I really, really love that about MSP. You know what they do, do, D? They keep paying you. <laughs> and that's oh, the yeah, cool that's part. True. I ain't They're gonna not going to bug you, but they'll keep paying They keep on paying me. That's Guys, now, here's the thing that's interesting. We are attraction marketers. So the corporate team, you know, and I'm, I'm you know, the, the reigning L7 or whatever, um, the cor we're looking for who wants to move up. We're not chasing people and trying to bug them. We're looking for who's excited right now, who's learning that marketing, who's got shots, 
both here in this community and then also we see what everybody's doing outside. You know, I know what everybody's doing. I know what everybody's, I know Bob Clark is driving cross country right now. I know, you know, I could tell you what everybody's doing right now. What was it that Stacy was doing? Stacy was doing something. She was playing with the dogs, but there was something else going on. You know, I know what everybody's doing. I'm like, mom, okay? And I know who wants to come down the road. And I also know who are the people that are quietly moving on the chessboard and not everybody knows. And it's these people among others. And I could sit here and tell you right now, I could tell you right now who the next L4s are, the next L3s, the next L4s. I already have, I like to lay bets on honey badgers uh, who will be the next honey badger. I have a, I have a, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna throw that down because I don't know, I could be wrong, but I have, you know, and sometimes we do, we'll, we'll like do like a football pool. <laughs> <laughs> so um you know but but guys that's not the point because some of our top coaches are not l5 leaders because they have other business entities where they have huge expertise in their coaching the folks in the community some of our top uh, people who are l6s and l7s don't coach at all i've never been asked to coach so i've never coached here i coach i mean i don't coach i mentor uh, as dina says mentor um you know i've never been asked so I don't know, maybe because I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know, but um, in any case, let's do, I think we, you know, it's nine o'clock. Can you guys, you think we could do one more? Are you guys good with one more? You still yeah, can do one more, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Well, we almost covered it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this, but you guys can have free reign to go anywhere you want. How's that? So I was going to say, what's because my old formula of packaging a story is before, what did I just do, guys? Before I got started in MLSP, I was. The first thing I noticed was since then, I've hit L4. And the best part is, tell us what the best part, whether it's about the community or it's about something that you learned or something that that you've been able to utilize that's enhanced your life. For a lot of people, by the way, guys, this isn't just about um, marketing. This is about attraction marketing is also learning about self-respect, about not being dragged around by other people, by not being walked on. When you become a rock, when you decide I'm planting my flag, this is where I am, this is who I am, and you decide to serve a community, right? your life changes when, because when you're chasing people and begging people, it's like groveling. And when you're standing still and people are coming to you, it's a different animal. And oftentimes as we learn this in business, we also learn in our life to stop letting people walk all over us or utilize mm -hmm. us or different things. And it changes what we're willing to accept out in the marketplace. So there is no rule for the answer to this one. Um, you guys, I'm gonna start with Angela. You guys can go anywhere you want. And then after that, I'm gonna tell everybody about something special, special announcement. So don't leave. And I also wanna just kind of show you guys some of the people that have walked the halls here, some of our alumni um, rock stars and, uh, you know, and just kind of close it up. So Angela, what's the best part of all of it? The best part about MLSP is that I trust the people who teach here. Um, you know, when I have a team that is coming to me and they want to have good mentorship and I want to share them with other trainers and then they go and they're, they get so not good training. Yes. Um, selling from the stage is not always cool to me. So when I bring them here, I know they're getting good quality training and they don't feel intimidated. They're not scared here. And it's like, I'm comfortable bringing the people that I've worked so hard to connect with, um, into this community because I know they're safe. So I like it because it's the safest place I have found. And I've been doing this for 11 years. So I have, I've been in some mud holes. <laughs> and guys, we take that dead serious. The ownership, the owners and yeah. the leadership of the company take it dead serious. There's just a lot of respect here. Um, we all communicate, we, you know, get together as leaders and and just, you know, if we see anything funky going on, we're on top of it. So I'm glad you said that. That means a lot because um, Brian and Jim and Norbert, and the, you know, the whole corporate team, they work really hard to make this a safe place. That's cool. 
Yolanda, what's the best part of everything? Wow, the first thing that I noticed right off the bat, and I came to an event when I had first started, I was like three months in and I went to Live the Dream event. And the one thing that really impacted me is how leaders were giving so freely. Like they were giving you all their strategy. Like you didn't have to go nowhere, but sit and just learn. And I love that. Um, when I came back, I got to work because I learned so much. And also, I just want to say that this is your little, the thing that you just spoke about, I, I have it right here on my desk. Like, this is how I write my stories. Did okay. you know I was doing it to you all? <laughs> my formula? I use that formula for everything. If you guys haven't ever heard the formula, it's somewhere in the back office. It's how to package a story formula. But I use it for everything. So that's all I did. Five questions. What was it? Yeah, so I love, it. I love that you use it every day. And it's one of those simple things that applies to everything, including interviewing rock stars. So you're awesome. Yolanda, it's really good to, to um, look, I've seen Angela at a lot of events and stuff. I don't get to see you as often. I'd love to get to know you better because um, you are just amazing. I see your people gushing over you and just going on and on and on. So I'm just so excited that you found a home here and that you've been helping yeah. so many people. And Angela, um, not to diminish that, but Angela, um, is somebody who I just love dearly. And um, we've been part of some different groups together and different things, different masterminds and stuff like that. And she's one of my favorite people. Um, and uh, I love that she's, by the way, guys, if you don't know Angela, you guys, oh, Angela Brooks, go find her. She is a, a LinkedIn expert. She's a network marketing expert. She'll tell you what essential oil to sniff to make you feel however you want to feel. <laughs> and she's amazing. So, all right, Thank Samira, you. what's the best part? Two things, that I can be myself. I'm a very different, quirky, woo-woo. Goddess. Goddess. And I can be all of that here and um, don't have to fit into a, you know, mold. Um, and the second thing, quite honestly, is the residuals. Yeah. Yes. I yes. can always <laughs> Say it again. Like <laughs> you know, I can always, I'm like, oh, I got paid again. Monday. I got paid again. <laughs> Every two weeks, you know, my clock worked for 13 yeah. years. I you got 1.4 million reasons why it's so awesome here. Sorry. That, that is really important. Again, I'm just going to go back to my story. Being a breast cancer survivor, having consistent, like, I don't have to worry about, am I going to get paid? When you are rebuilding your life yes. in that place, that is important. Like, straight no chaser. So 2020 taught us that too. <laughs> right. And, and yeah. by the way, that's another thing that they take super serious here. Like, I, I think that they would do anything before they didn't pay us. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're just wonderful. And there's so many, I've been, I literally got uh, screwed out of six figures by one company, just like, mm -hmm. oh, we shut down. I had, a, I had one that did 10,000 ones and that was one thing, but six figures, it was like, eh, yeah, we can't pay you. Oop. What do you mean you can't pay me? Yeah, we, we can't pay you. Oh, I know you did all that work, but we can't pay you. So, and, and that's just never an issue. The only problem that we've ever had here is me and Ray Higdon broke the pay system because we, we had made so much money in a pay period that they had no way to pay us. So they had to figure out how to pay us because our, our commissions were so high, the system wouldn't handle it. So yeah, I didn't get paid once on Nice that. problem. Yeah, that's right. Nice like, problem to have. Oh, right. <laughs> broke it and then I too. double broke it. So uh, all right. Dina, what's the best part? Um well the leaders are amazing. Um uh, and I can't thank this community enough because I was at a point where I was kind of lost and I was just about like just burnt mm. out. And I, I, I came into MLSP just wanting to be a sponge and learn, you know, new ways and just kind of like, just like I said before, reinvent myself. And I remember Diane reaching out to me and said, you, you talked about me on a wake-up call. And yeah, for so many I tend, to, I tend to shout you guys out when I see you. Yeah. And down the for so many years in the network marketing space, you know, and we never really got shouted out. You know, unless you made like huge ranks or something, nobody ever really thought of you as somebody. And when a top oh. affiliate reaches out to you on a wake up call or recognizes you, 
um, or reaches out to you privately, you know, it was like, wow, you know, I never felt that. And I think that's probably what I love about this community is everybody is somebody. And I, like Angela, feel safe bringing a study group of 70 people to it. And if I can't answer a question, I got, I, I'm building and empowering them to yeah. answer those questions and get into the community and say, ask that question publicly. You know, Dina doesn't know it all. I'm learning with you. Post it in the VIP group and because somebody else needs to hear that question too. Yes. So we're, we're empowering a lot of people in this community to have a voice and lead with heart. And from the founders down, I just, every day I look forward to like brewing the coffee and seeing like, who's on the wake up call? What are they going to say? Um, what training is going on Tuesday and Thursday? What webinar is going on? Like, I'm excited to do business again. And that's why I love MLSP because you take care of me and my people. That's beautiful. I love it. See, what's the best part? For me, the best part is the creative freedom with just the right amount of guidance. It was, um, it's, you know, for everything that I've, I've done, the ideas I've had, you know, in the different companies I've been a part of, this one has been the only one, you know, by far that does not try and, you know, what I call put shackles on me, which means put shackles on my mind. Yes. A lot of companies, it's like, oh, don't talk about nothing if you're not talking about how much money you made with XYZ company, meaning, you know, that company, you know, mm -hmm. or if it's, you know, another industry that you want to use that, you know, training for or what have you, you know, a lot of other companies will put shackles on you. Um, this one has not. Um, and when I say the right amount of guidance, I'm gonna give an example of that. Um, when I first started, um, they were saying that, oh, we're going to double down on Facebook marketing. Right. And I booked at it. Like we on a zoom and everything. I booked that. Like, what you mean? I want to do YouTube. Right. And I'll never forget this. And the dude was right. I didn't know he was right at the time. Right. I just had to trust. He was right. Norbert was like, pretty much. He was like, get over it. This is going to be the fastest way to build your audience, to learn how to build your audience. He pretty, he literally said, get over it. So yeah, I was hot under the collar, but I came for a reason. You know, you don't let emotions get in the way of your money, right? So I did what he said, you know, did the beginning stuff and everything, and I'll be damned, he was right. Once I learned how to do it on Facebook, now I could do it on anything that I go to. So the, the fact of the matter is that they allow you to be who you are, be creative, but they will give you just that right amount of guidance when they feel it's like, look, just trust me type situation, right? And they don't they don't be like shackling you or nothing like that. Like that's the only time that anyone has ever, you know, kind of like, yo, just, just trust this. Everything else is like, oh, work it out, work it out. So I really appreciated that from Norbert because I needed that. I was at the beginning stages. I needed that. And I also need that creative freedom as well that they give me now. And it's like, man, I pay every year because it ain't nothing better, ain't nothing better. I love that because sometimes there are windows of opportunity. There's no two ways about it. There's certain things that come down the road that are huge opportunities. And for us to really impress upon you guys that this is a window, take advantage of it. I think that's our responsibility. MLSP is by marketers for marketers. You got to understand the guys that started the company, they were marketers first and they created something for marketers. And then the leaders that come here that come up the pike and become honey badgers, et cetera, um, we are marketers first, associate or, or um, affiliates second. So when we're teaching marketing, we're teaching marketing. And um, it's not so that we can make money off of anybody. It's so that we could teach marketing. So it's, it's a different vibe in a different community. And whether you're here to just learn marketing Hallelujah. You found a great place. And you can tell from these ladies um, who I know we'll be seeing more from um, their tremendous teachers. We have so many tremendous teachers here or whether you're somebody who wants a revenue stream plus learning because some people come here and I watch people sometimes they come here just for revenue and they don't serve or give and, and they don't become part of the community. They generally don't last that long and somebody else will come here and they'll make a fortune. So it's really interesting. It's a really interesting dynamic, um, but 13 years, um, it's been incredible. Now I wanna tell you, if any of you guys are visiting tonight or for everybody, and like I said, I'm not aware that they announced this yet. They might've because um, I was out of town for a couple of days, so I might've missed it. But if you guys go to, in fact, I'm going to go there. We don't even have, and I'll bring it up on the screen in one second. We don't even have the page up yet. But this is, I think, 
one of the coolest things ever. Let me show my screen. Let me just get it up. Okay. Will you guys excuse us that we don't have everything done and fancy and perfect? Is that okay with you guys? That's okay. Absolutely. <laughs> because if it's a good deal, do you care if it's pretty? No. 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 Right? Do you care if it's pretty? Like, I love junk stores and little discount stores and closeout stores. I love that. You find a good deal. Like, um, this, this extra ring light I just bought. That's why it's so glary, right? This extra ring light. It's so glary. Um, I found, like, you know, I know how much they normally cost, and I found it for, like, next to nothing in this junk store. I was like, ah! I was so excited. I should have bought 20 of them, right? So <laughs> you, do you care if it looks pretty, if it's a good deal? If you're a girl, you, you're always going to say no, because because if the shoes are a good deal, I don't need the box. There you so, go. Right? There you right? go. I'm not <laughs> wearing the box. I'm wearing right, the Dina, I just want you to know, Dina, these are the largest, these are the largest earrings I've ever worn in my life. I'm working up. I'm working up. I have the black glasses and I'm working the largest earrings I've ever worn in my life. Now, if you want severe, I'll get some braids. Next time I go to good. You tell me, you tell me what to do. Can give you some locks. You want some locks? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let I, me I see Diane. Some, some red light, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like Bo Derek. Come on. <laughs> Just, I bought these earrings and I was like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep up with the Dina. So. These are these are cone light. They're just leather, so they're very light. Matter. I'm paranoid. About these I already, I was like, I, it, I'm afraid that my ear is going to get ripped out. I'm scared. All right, are you guys ready? Yes, I'm ready. ready. You guys already yes. know about this. It's okay. Okay. We periodically, and Yolanda is a pioneer at this, we have run some very special challenges here at My Lead System Pro, where we teach you different marketing concepts. And we usually do it over five days, but when they're recorded, you could do it in a day if you want, right? You could learn how to post for profit to make money from posting on Facebook. And you can learn to take people through a sequence to get them to say yes multiple times, going for yes. What a, what a great concept, right? You can learn how to build a list and gain leverage, right? And there's one other in there. I don't know what it is, but we have offered different offers where we've said, come in, try us out for 30 days and get one of our challenges. We actually are putting together the page. It's not done yet, but you can get all four of the challenges, the challenge bundle. You can get all four of the challenges and 30 days for free of our system where you can click start here and go through and learn these concepts that all these guys were just talking about for a dollar. So if you spent a month and you went through, heck, if you just took a weekend, you took the weekend and you decided to really become a, a you know, a, a skilled marketer, you could do that in a month for a dollar. Anybody get a dollar? So the link to that, is mlsp.com slash uh, in, okay? mlsp.com forward slash in, and it will give you access to all the challenges, okay? And I thought they were all pictured here, but they're not. But there's four of them, okay? So you're going to get all the challenges, including the one that I did and the one that Stacy did and one that Aaron did. There might be two from Stacy or two from Aaron. I can't remember the, the combos, but... Um, phenomenal deal mlsp.com forward slash in and you guys can go start marketing that you guys know how to make your your links you, you know if you're not if you remember you don't know how to make your link properly ask in the vip group okay ask in the vip yeah. group don't go don't go running out and promoting if your link isn't right because you won't get tagged to the person that you refer but um you guys can you imagine being able to give away four of these wow. valuable challenges for a dollar Mm -hmm. Absolutely. that's great i'm excited for the people who are going to be you know buying it and receiving it like legitimately mm -hmm. seriously they can go through one of those things and make their doubt like oh, absolutely I and just, <laughs> just so too, we have live coaching five days a week yes. we have a live wake-up call motivational call every day monday through friday so there's something on the calendar every day half the time we show up in the weekend because we're crazy and we just love doing what we're doing um, just to give you guys a couple announcements too. Tomorrow is my monthly mastermind, The Deep Abyss. I, I, I do affiliate marketing secrets and tactics, top earner secrets, how I got to be an L7. Just so you know, we're talking about getting 
to L5, the honey badger level. L7 is five times L5. <laughs> it sounds like five, six, seven. It ain't five, six, seven. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, to infinity. Okay, it's five times L5. Okay, because it starts, it, it, it doubles every time. So it gets like exponential. So tomorrow night, that is a paid mastermind. It is a whopping, ready? $25. The link to that is the deep abyss. ABYSS.com. I have not come up with the topic yet. I'll come up with it tonight, um, but it's going to be good, <laughs> especially after the inspiration tonight. Um, mm. I think I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing one on like if I had to start over, if I joined MLSP tomorrow, what I would do. That's think, a good one. Very good. Yeah. Um, and by the way, all you smarty pants, I think you know, I really encourage you. I really, I double dog dare you to come hang out with me and come learn some of this stuff because everybody thinks they knows, but in the meantime, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little full of myself. I, I tried to keep it like low key, but now I'm like, guys, I got tricks. Uh, and then tomorrow night, we have our happy hour every Friday. We have happy hour and the founders come out. We actually have our founders come out twice a week to spend time with the community, do Q&A, look at your funnels, look at all the different things you're building, look at your copy. You're getting, you know, people that have done millions and millions and millions and millions of sales, uh, checking your stuff out and working on it for you. Um, oh no, excuse me, tomorrow's Thursday. So I'm a liar. I, I don't know what day of the week it is. Tomorrow at six o'clock, we have our uh, social networking and whatever it's called training. Uh, one of the leaders comes out. Let's see, let's see, let's see who it is. Let me promote my colleague, whoever it is. It might be Val tomorrow, can't remember. Let's see. Valerie. And by the way, just- yes. so Valerie. Is it Valerie? Okay, yeah. so Val is absolutely amazing. She's one of our trainers. She's one of our coaches. She does our new member um, uh, orientation every other week along with Keisha. And she always has phenomenal tips. So that's free to all members. So if you sign up tonight for a buck, mlsp.com forward slash in, you get to come to that tomorrow. It's free. Now, if you want to pull out the big box without the credit card, because like Dee said, I'm looking for buyers. I'm looking for the people that have already bought. I'm looking for people that want to come spend uh, an hour or so with me tomorrow night. That's $25, holla. Um, and then Friday night, the founders come out. They come out twice uh, a week for general membership. And then they have extra secret super huddles for the higher level membership. So um, we've been on for what time tomorrow, David? For the Deep Abyss, that's at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, it is recorded and immediately available for those of you that might be in Europe, although you should be in bed if you're in Europe. Um, and then 6 p.m. Eastern is the social media training that we have um, uh, every week and one of the different leaders comes out. So, um, and you guys, all of you, if there's anything at all I can do for you to help you, if you have the desire and if you if you're busy doing what you're doing doing what you're doing if I could help you with that anyway you let me know but if any of you guys have the desire to become a honey badger well I don't know if you want a hug from another honey badger because it might be a little I'm at claw you look I got claws right <laughs> but I would love to help you anytime in any way anything I can do you are all just absolutely spectacular and I love that you're all uniquely yourselves um, and that you haven't strayed from who you are and what your message is and what you want to bring to the marketplace. And I hope you bring a bunch of it back to the community. Um, we love you and you're amazing. And thank you for agreeing to be here tonight. Um, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. And all of you guys, let me just really quick look and make sure there wasn't any pressing questions. Guys, if you have a question, please ask it in the Q&A, not in the chat because there's literally like hundreds of things in the chat. Does MLSP have any training specific to South Africans? Um, we have several people in South Africa that are members, um, but I don't know that, I mean, you'd have to ask a specific question. Um, you know, the training, marketing training is pretty much global. Um, so um, I work overnight. What is the best time to work my business? I'll give you my answer and then maybe one of you other guys doesn't answer when, when you can, <laughs> the answer is when you get like, when I have little kids at home, I worked around their school schedule. When they got home at three o'clock, I was taking care of my kids and I was busy with my kids and making dinner and this, this and that. I talked to men. I went back to work. 
now I don't got no kids. I don't got nothing. I just, I just kind of hang around all day and go, I guess I'll write some more copy or help some people or do something. So it's all about uh, when it works for you. Um, does this deal include people that have already taken one challenge or clicked on your link already? Um, if somebody is a current member, the challenges are available to them. So if they're already inside the membership, the challenges are available to them. Um, and you can ask in the VIP group, we can tell you where somebody can access those challenges. Basically they're in the, um, the guide, are they called guides now or they changed the name? Not units, they're guides now in the guide section of the VIP group. Um, for those of, uh, if somebody took a challenge before, but they're not currently active, um, I don't know how long it has to have been for them to come back, but I'm pretty sure they can come back. I mean, we're generally open arm kind of place. You know, we're not looking for people that come take a challenge and leave and come take a challenge and leave and kind of, um, you know, the challenges are open to the public, but we're looking for people that want to step up. So it is open. Somebody can come back for sure. I have people that come and go all the time. I'm always happy when they come home. So let me see one other thing. I think that's that one's done. So that one is done. And then some of you guys are still asking questions in the chat and I can't see them. So if you have a question, act now or forever hold your peace, put it in the Q and A. And if not, if you are a member, feel free to tag me anytime in the VIP group. I will generally answer unless I don't see your question and then make sure you uh, tag me again, uh, tag any of these ladies. Does anybody mind? I already said it too I late. Too late. <laughs> I post, I I'm post just, tips I'm to her all the like time. So y'all y'all ain't even gotta tag me. All you gotta do is look for my post, man. I'll be dropping the nuggets for y'all. Listen, all if the all time. five of you made honey badger, I could just say it was all because of me. Yes. We'll <laughs> let you so, have it. I'm being so facetious. Okay. Um <laughs> So if you guys need anything, VIP group, there's somebody in there all the time. There's almost always somebody in there. So uh, tag us up, let us know what you need. If you have questions about anybody's backgrounds, maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you are in transition. You're a professional woman that's looking to transition. Maybe uh, you want to learn. Uh, we do have a LinkedIn challenge, which is awesome. The Antle also LinkedIn, expert blogging. I mean, she knows all this stuff. D, D, I think D knows everything. So you should just ask her anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of everything. Like, why is this guy blue? I would, I would spy on Dina and watch because she is the pro. And I'd love to see her come out and do a training on how to use our tools. We have so many giveaways and so many tools and mm. nobody gives them away. <laughs> okay. So um, maybe you and I could do that together sometime, Dina, or just you or however they want to do it. But um, there's so much available in just this group of leaders alone. Uh, if I were brand new, what is the first thing I would do to create income? David, come to the deep abyss tomorrow night. I think that might have to be my topic, uh, what I would do right now. It's not all about making the money. The one thing I can say, guys, I've been in business for 21 years. I have never had a month that I didn't make money. Now, it wasn't always a lot of money, but I have never, ever, 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 because I actually thought I was supposed to sell stuff. So I've never had a month that I didn't make money in 21 years. So if there's anything I'm good at is making money. Absolutely. I haven't made the most money, probably never will. I'm a little too lazy for that. I haven't built, I have no desire to build a big corporation. That's why I hang out here in MLSP. They do all the hard work. I just run my mouth. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, they do all the typing. They do all the websites. I just change the headline. What do you guys see what I asked them to make? I'm hoping, cross your fingers, that they make the thing I asked them to make. Because if they make the thing, you two... You two, okay, Dina's getting the Dina, okay. But you two went like, you went immediately. <laughs> yeah. If they make the thing that I asked them to make, um, you're gonna be happy because I'm gonna make your life so easy. I'm not, they're gonna, I, I mean, I just had an idea. So we'll have a lot awesome. of fun. All right, I don't wanna leave, but it's time to leave. Thank you, thank you, thank you all of you so very much. I thank appreciate you guys. You guys. And everybody get to know these ladies and uh, and chant, chant their names and maybe we'll get them out sharing some more. You guys are Incredible. I appreciate it. Again, MLSP.com forward to see. D, D cracks me up, man. She's awesome. She, I, that's why I wanted you. I'm like, I knew she, yeah, yeah she, I can't do that thing. Wait, we should close with. Um, oh, I do want to show you one last thing. For any of you that missed this, everybody knows I'm a tiara queen and they, at MLSP events, they used to give me tiaras. Um, and my daughter who turned 25 had a kitten party for her birthday at the Brooklyn Cat Cafe. 
And this is what we all had to wear. I love it. The, that is so it, you. You can't see it, but it is wow. Ryan's rooms. It's very sparkly. So I'm hey, everybody that smile. The dreadlocks that you're gonna get. Yeah, Diane. Angela, take take a everybody I, smile. Got you. I'll see it'll be on Instagram. Tag us, tag us baby. All right. <laughs> We'll see y'all. Everybody have a good night. If you need us, check us in the group. Uh, if you're not a member yet, mlsp.com forward slash in, sign up and then come in the group. We'll put you in the group right away. We'll hang out with you, help you out. And uh, most of all guys, have fun. Have fun. Don't get so, don't get so, don't get so agitated. Have some fun. People will be much more attracted to you. All right, guys. Good night, everybody from MLSP land. Everybody good take night. care. Baxter, we're out. We love you. Take care.